Welcome back to my channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we're taking a look at how your crush or ex feels about you and whether or not they'll be making a move. So let's go right ahead. And we have three piles today. We have the Turquoise Stone Pile. We have the Magenta Pile. And we have the Emerald Green Pile. See which one you're most drawn to first, and that's probably the pile for you today. And if you feel like you're, you're drawn to more than one pile, then there's probably a message there for you. You'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on the right pile, and I'll see you there. All right, let's start with the first pile, and that is the turquoise pile. Let's see what your cards have for you today, pile number one. You have this beautiful turquoise stone. I personally love this one very much. I feel it's so special. It's very elegant and simple. But the, its simplicity makes you really love it. I wonder if this has to do anything with the reading today. Let's see what your cards have for you. So we have... The Four of Swords in Reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles in Reverse. We have the World. Ooh, a lot. We have the Justice card. We have the Five of Cups in Reverse. And we have the Nine of Cups in Reverse. Before we start reading, let me pull out an oracle card for you. These are oracle cards that I have drawn myself. They're full of love. They're inspired by tarot cards that I really love the art of. And I've added a roomy coat to go along with that picture. So let's see what your card is. Ooh, and we have a kernel and shell. So give me a minute to tune into. Uh, your cards and the energies of your cards and see what their message for you is. <clears throat> okay, pile number one, it clearly seems to me that uh, in the past, this person may have not treated you well, may have ignored the relationship, may have not considered you maybe as a partner, whatever it was, in the past, um, this person was not behaving well with you, wasn't maybe very serious in terms of taking action, might have been playing around maybe, wasn't too sure. Uh, or behaved in a way that you did not like. And right now, this person has had some good thought thoughts about what happened because... They truly feel like you're the ultimate person that they want. Something made them realize that you are definitely the woman or the person of their dreams. You have everything that they want. You have the looks, the personality, um, the mind, everything, the, the, the energy that they want. They are extremely regretful at the moment. They are very sad. They've done what they've, what happened with you. 
um, they're regretting it deeply and now they're thinking about it this time in a righteous matter um, with honesty and fairness they're, they have a lot of integrity this time towards you and how they want to deal with you. It seems like it was uh, the lesson of their life, really. From the cards, this is definitely what it looks like. What have you done, Pile One? You've definitely taught them a lesson that made them really think about their behavior. Um, and... They're finding mental peace now because of the realization that they've that that they've had. They've realized that they've just lost a chance with one with the most wonderful person that they could ever be with. And because of this regret, this revoked um, some honesty within them that made them feel like they had to revise the way they behaved and this is why you have this oracle card see if you take a uh, sorry if you take a clearer look into this um, card you'll see that there's a rebirth there is a rebirth in thinking there is a rebirth in how they feel there is a rebirth in the in the way they see the whole their whole world now a world that definitely includes you in it they you've changed a big part of their personality and the way they think of how their world should be like and even though they want to come and offer you love they're very worried so at the moment they're not sure how to do it but they want to be righteous they want to be fair this time they really want to take the right action with you um i would never advise you to take the first step but what i would advise you to do is um to be nice to them um to give them some space to come in and show you how they feel and what they think this time. If you really want this person as well as they want you, and maybe this is why I've seen this stone as a very simple, simple, beautiful, elegant one. Because at first glance, you think it's a regular turquoise. But then when you, when you look at it clearly, you see how elegant and beautiful it is how unique and beautiful it is and it's it's simplicity that makes it so gorgeous and beautiful so pile number one the decision is yours this person definitely has a rebirth in the way they think and in the way they see the world and it is definitely up to you uh to see whether you want to give them a chance or not all the best of luck pile number one if you feel like the pile has the reading has resonated with you please give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any new videos that I upload uh, and I'll see you in the next reading all right pile number two you were this beautiful magenta stone um, let's see what your crush or ex feels about you and whether or not they'll be making a move so this is your stone, it's a beautiful magenta stone and it has a lot of shades that makes it very beautiful. So maybe it's because of the different aspects of your personality that makes you very interesting to your crush or person. Let's see, let's see what the cards have to say for you. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, pile number two. Whoa, we have the Four of Wands, pile number two, wow. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Ace of 
pentacles and we have the chariot wow amazing cards i'll tell you that all right now before we start the reading i'll take a look at the oracle cards for you these are oracle cards that i've hand drawn myself they're inspired by beautiful tarot cards that i like the art of and they have a corresponding roomy coat that goes along with the picture so let's see what your card of the day is for this reading. Ooh la la, I have two. <laughs> That's the first time. So you have the ruby card. And you have the be washed card. Wow, pile number two. Your cards are pretty awesome. <laughs> I will tell you that. Let's take this out of the way for now. All right, so give me a minute to tune into the energies of your cards and see what their message for you is. Okay, pile number two. It seems to me your, your, your pile is pretty close to pile number one, so you might want to check that out. But there is a little bit of a difference here. Um, it seems like your crush, or maybe your ex, um, is definitely in love with you. Um, they have a lot of deep, deep, deep feelings for you. But it seems like they have misbehaved somehow. They might have maybe cheated, maybe considered another person. Um, they weren't really honest in the way they behaved with you. And you have definitely cut them off. You pushed them away. <clears throat> and uh, what you've done definitely made them cr crushed. You've crushed their hearts. Isn't it not a coincidence that the stones corresponds, correspond to the card? Turquoise and purple or magenta and turquoise and magenta? Wow. This gives me an, a feeling that you need to check pile number one, pile number two. So again, going back to your reading, they have definitely misbehaved with you and you've cut them off. And once you've had this argument and you push them out of your life completely, they've realized what a huge mistake they've done. And uh, they've realized how much it was ex so unworthy to, 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 that whatever they've done was extremely unworthy, it was totally not worth it. And you were the world. You were someone that they are madly in love with. They don't want anyone else. You're the picture perfect person, not in terms only of how you physically look, but how you make them feel and the, and the and the lovely time that they have with you. It's like you're the partner of their life. It's like you're maybe a twin flame, a soulmate, um it's just you are their person you are their person and they are crushed they're definitely crushed they totally see that it wasn't worth it they even think it was pretty stupid what they've done because i don't think they want they even wanted it that much it was a pretty stupid act um um and now they have definitely learned their lesson completely they feel like they want to be honest they want to fix what they're what they've done they never want to come near this area again they've learned that this is not an honest behavior you should never and they should never make a person feel the way that they made you feel and they've realized really they don't want anyone else so things are definitely changing um destiny's changing karma has definitely bit them very hard and things are moving towards your side so it's very clear from your cards pile number two they want to come back with a solid 
offer a promise to spend the rest of their lives with you and no one else and to move along quickly with this relationship and be with no one else but you. Uh, tr believe me, pile number two, I really see the honesty in their feelings. I really see that they truly don't want anyone in the world, in their lives, but you. And they want to spend the, their whole lives, every minute of their lives with you. Uh, I truly feel the sincerity of this reading. And again, it's no coincidence that your card has the same colors. I really urge you to, to watch pile number one. Maybe there's a, another message, important message for you. All right, pile number two. If you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a video that I post. And uh, I'll see you in the next reading. That was a lovely reading. I truly enjoyed this one. All right, now let's see what pile number three has for today. And our question was, how your crush or ex feels about you and whether or not they'll be making a move. So your stone pile number three is this beautiful, elegant emerald green. So it, it this stone always reminds me of something being super precious. It reminds me of a Rolex watch. It reminds me of elegance and refinement fine taste so let's see what your crush feels about you and whether this stone fits into the reading or not probably will as always <laughs> so your cards <clears throat> pile number three it are um the hair the hierophant in reverse the king of pentacles Queen of Pentacles. You know what, pile number three? This card popped up and I thought it wasn't meant to pop up and it came back in again. Very weird. So that's definitely part of your reading. You have the Knight of Swords, the Three of Cups in reverse, and the Empress. Now, let's pull out an oracle card for you. These are cards that I've hand-drawn myself. They're inspired from tarot cards, art that I really liked, and they have a roomy coat to go along with the art. So let's see which card you have for today's reading. Oh, la, la. So this is your oracle card. It says the funny thing is, and we'll read it now together. This is how it looks like, so you can it pretty well it says the funny thing is you've always looked outside for him and haven't searched within your own house whenever you ha wherever you have been he is the one holding your hand okay pile number one now give me a minute to tune into the energies of your cards and see what message they have for you today in this reading There's a general theme in the three piles. You are strong women in this readings pile because the three in the three piles, it seems like you pushed them away for a behavior that you did not like. And I salute you for not accepting any behavior that is disrespectful to, towards you. So it looks like pile number three, that your crush or ex maybe has been hasn't been quite clear 
with how they want the relationship to be, how to move forward, and how it's going to look like in the future. He, uh, they weren't clear about whether they wanted to be with you forever, whether they wanted to be committed or not. They weren't really, they, they weren't clear with their words. You didn't really know where you were in this relationship, whether you were together. Sometimes you felt like you were together and other times you didn't feel like they were together. Um, you, weren't, you weren't really happy in this relationship at all. It wasn't clear to you. And you didn't know whether you should stay or leave. you kind of felt like there was cheating and because the lines weren't really clear you suffered a lot of having to see them with other people and behaving in a way that you did not like pile number three um, even though you really have a lot of self-confidence you have the empress here in reverse which means you initially have a lot of self-confidence you 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 look Many people would love to have you in their lives. You are very attractive, very smart, a, a, a person that anyone really dreams of. You've wasted a lot of time with this person who made you feel very bad about yourself, made you question yourself, and you finally let go of this relationship. You, you, you felt like they were a bit too superficial for you. They weren't... They were a bit self-obsessed. They were too. You, they were thinking too much of themselves. They were neglectful of your relationship. They were ungrounded, and you weren't happy with with how things were going. And you cut them off. You just left them. You weren't taking this behavior anymore. Uh, things have definitely changed, pile number three, because your behavior of cutting them off and not accepting this kind of behavior really made them think very deep of what they did because they didn't know that losing you would make them burn. <laughs> you really made their hearts burn. And with their loneliness and with your strong act, now they feel like they felt they feel really bad about themselves and they it burns remembering all the beautiful things that you two had together and that they can't have anymore their hearts burn about the idea that they cannot be with you anymore they realize how much you're important in their lives and how much they want you back they they realize how integral you are into their lives and that they really don't want anyone else the the pain is too real they realized after you've left how much they wanted to be with you how much they need you in their lives and how much they really don't want anyone else they just want you wow pal number three the pals today are so good you really You've really taught them a lesson about their lack of commitment. You've really made them understand why it's important to be committed to someone, how emotions are important, and how a real, true partnership means a lot. And it's not just about spending superficial time with a lot of people, but it's about spending quality time with that one person you really enjoy your life with. So with the King of Pentacles here, I really do feel that this person is coming back with a solid offer. Um, feels he or she or they feel quite stable now and secure in what they want. Um, they have worked hard on themselves, which, will, which they believe will pay off. They worked hard in being and in having integrity and in revising their actions, which is definitely something they may be talking to you about. They feel they've succeeded into behaving the right way. 
they feel like life with you is very abundant it makes them successful and happy really it really does so yes pile number three i definitely feel that your crush or your ex or whoever person that you have in mind has definitely revised their actions and they want to come back with a solid offer of being with you and telling you about their new plans and the the new way that they think and how solid and committed they want to be with you so all the best of luck pile number three and if you like this reading please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a video that i upload uh, again and i'll see you in the next reading and good luck bye